All right, you guys, get ready for a long 24 hours with your girl, Sierra. It's going down, baby. Let's go. I was introduced to music when I was really young, and I loved to dance when I was young. Um, and I pretty much knew every song on the radio. But I have to say, professionally, I was introduced to music when I was probably 13, going on 14 years old. That was like my first experience with trying to pursue my dream as a professional singer. And some of my influences growing up were people like Michael Jackson, I love Janet, I love Prince as well. But I have to say that Michael is my biggest influence of, of them all. My father was in the military, and my mother was in the Air Force, so because of their jobs, we had to travel, and that was actually really fun. And then, of course, I spent the majority of my younger years in Atlanta, and that's my hometown, that's where I'm from, and all my family on my mother's side is from Atlanta. I feel very fortunate that I was able to travel around the world. I feel like it helped me with being able to adapt to my surroundings, and different people and cultures and, and lifestyles, and I feel like I was ready for the world. We weren't super rich or, you know, super wealthy. Um, however, all of the adversities and the struggles that I, we may have had or challenges, I feel like were a really big part of just shaping me and making me who I am today. Right now we're at the gym, we're getting our workout on. Me and my amazing trainer, Gunnar, we work out so hard all the time and it just, it's a lot of prep that goes into all the videos and photo shoots and all that. So right now we're just doing what we normally do. We just hit it hard, squat, rope, just everything. Like a lot of out of breath kind of things <laughs> happen in here. A lot of things to build the window. Um, we're just having a good time, working out, making it happen. When I first began, every bit of my journey that I've been experiencing as an artist has pretty much been a first time for me in front of the world. So in a sense, my fans have really been growing with me because I wasn't raised in music. Like I wasn't trained to do what I do. So it's really been a journey. Like my first live performance was kind of like my first big performance of my life. You know, as opposed to me having tons of showcases and talent shows, I never had that experience. So. I've evolved as a performer because now I've also learned more things about the stage and I've learned things that will help me on the stage and make me better. So I've evolved tremendously. And the most important things of all, I've evolved as a woman. And I've grown so much, you know, I've just been able to like handle situations so much better than I would have when I first began when I was younger. So very, very, very proud of that evolution. This is Tyson in Georgia. Tyson is Four years old. Four years old and some change. Right, Tyson? Right, Tyson? Yeah. And then Georgia, she's a year and a half. Hi, right, Georgia. Sit. Good. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Now, Georgia, roll over. Good girl. The thing that I love most about performing is interacting with my fans and being able to just have like a really, really up close, intimate experience. And I love the energy. Like I love hearing the crowd go, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. That's exciting. And I love that energy. It's just no feeling like it. Find what I'm gonna wear to go to the studio. So this is my glam room, my fashion room. I think it's kind of like one of those things us, all of us girls really want and feel like we need. So. I did this room for that, just so it could be easy access to all the clothes that I needed. I could see everything in front of me. I could um, just be a bit more organized. Off to the studio we go. I try my best to create like a unique sound with my music, create my own unique dance moves and all kind of things. Like I really, really put a lot of thought and effort into how it can be different. And then I guess you can say the other part I leave to my fans to decide <laughs> what they feel makes me different. I would describe myself to be very ambitious and very, very, very determined, very passionate, very loving, very loyal. 
and therefore I have to say I'm a very, very, very hard worker. I believe I am. I like to set a lot of goals and, you know, I like to accomplish them. I like to set more and I strongly believe a lot of things that I want to do can happen. So I work really hard to get there and I go nonstop. The biggest difference of working with Sierra than all the other artists I've worked with is that she brings so much to the table visually that at the same time while you're actually working on the album, I guess you could say you are working on the visual aspect uh, so that the audio matches up. And that's kind of something that's interesting doing is chasing the vision, the visuals of the album and the audio at the same time. So that's always challenging. And I think we, we really accomplished that what we did on this Basic Instinct project. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun. Long, hard working day, but it's well worth it. Hope you guys really enjoyed it because I did it for you, my fans. And of course, make sure you get my new album, Basic Instinct, when it comes out. And if you want to know my next moves, you can find it on myspace.com slash Sierra Baby. Signing out. Catch.